As Barbara said this morning, the more you know, the more you don't, the more you know that you don't know. There are so many things that are happening in this nether world behind our backs, things that happen that we are not aware of, and that's going to be more or less the subjects of our next two presenters. Fritz Springmeyer, coming to us from Oregon, has spent 20 plus years researching what's been going on in things that most people, not this crowd particularly, but of course most people really have no clue on in the area of influencing actions of people with various types of mind control. He has so much information it's almost incomprehensible. You wonder how, much, how anybody put together that much stuff in a 20-year period. One of the books that I have of his is Encyclopedia Size, and that's only one of whatever, 10 or 20 that he's put together. So there is a lot of information for him to try to cram into the next 55 minutes for you, but he will have a workshop, of course. So welcome for the first time here at Global Sciences, of course, another new find, Fritz Springmeyer, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Where were you when John F. Kennedy was assassinated? Do you remember how you felt? How old were you? What were you doing? Where were you when the Challenger exploded? Do you remember? How did you feel when you saw the pictures of the children that were killed at the daycare center uh, at the Oklahoma City Federal Building? Do you remember? These are trauma memories. We remember them distinctly. They are indelibly etched into our minds. However, how many of us know the lie that was programmed into us at each of those traumas. Now I realize that most of you don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm getting there. See, I'm not challenging your memories of those traumas. Each of us remember those traumas very distinctly. However, the problem is, is that we don't know the lie that it was attached to each of those traumas. In fact, most of us have never even considered that the conspiracy killed John F. Kennedy in full view of this country for a reason in order to program us a lie. We've never asked ourselves why didn't they quietly poison him and make it look like a natural death. In spite of John F. Kennedy's good front of being healthy, JFK was a medical basket case. So why didn't they try to take advantage of his natural weaknesses? So we've got two facts here. The fact is that they killed John F. Kennedy in full view of the entire nation. And the other fact is that we still have a trauma memory associated around that trauma. However, we do not understand, most of us, how they programmed in a lie to us through that trauma. Now those traumas that we have just discussed are very mild compared to the type of traumas that we're going to be discussing today and in the workshop tomorrow in the afternoon. I'm here to tell you about trauma-based total mind control. This is a type of mind control which turns a, the victim into a puppet, a slave. This is a type of mind control which is so horrendous that it dehumanizes a person to be a, uh, a robot, an expendable piece of machinery that they can throw away. And the problem is, is that this mind control is essentially totally undetectable. 
The things that I'm going to be telling you today are going to affect you and your children and your grandchildren. And I don't have enough time up here in 55 minutes or an hour to give you uh, much more than just scratch the surface of what I have to tell you. But I do want to be able to, in this first hour, to tell you the issues and then also uh, expose you to our literature, our information that we have that you can obtain that covers those issues so that if you want to obtain more information on this, you can. Today I'm going to give you some important keys to some of the important mysteries in your life. Everyone loves a treasure hunt. Today you've hit the mother load. This mind control pertains to many of the things in our life. Why are so many people being abducted by UFOs? Why do things keep going wrong in our government? Who is running the world? How do we protect ourselves from someone who's an intelligent agent of the New World Order? How do we protect ourselves from deception? These are all issues that relate to mind control and they are the type of issues that I give answers to. What would you like to know about the uh, New World Order or its mind control? Or perhaps the subject bores you. If you don't know where you're going, how will you know when you get there? Where is this nation going? Where are we going with all these UFO abduction experiences. I'll tell you, we are headed toward total mind control. And I'm giving you this talk to motivate you, to help you, to inspire you, to inform you. Now I'd like to do a little exercise. Look at the person on your right and look at the person on your left. Now I'm not doing this to instill fear into you. But the reason I wanted you to look at the person on your right and the person on your left and then yourself is because one or all of you may be under this total mind control and not even know it. But I'm not saying this to instill fear into you, but I'm trying to motivate you out of your complacency. Because after I found out about this horrendous mind control, which is being carried out on such a grand scale, that my life became insignificant compared to the suffering of the millions of victims. And that's why I've dedicated my life to stopping this mind control or doing as much about it as I can. But I can't do it all by myself, and nor, nor can I succeed with my co-author, Cisco Wheeler, back there. But we need all of your help. <clears throat> now, this has been a great conference. There's been a lot of great speakers. But if I was to sum up this conference, I would sum it up as saying, mind control and disinformation. What do I mean by disinformation? Today people don't understand what disinformation is. One needs to go and, and study, which I have done, how these intelligence agencies that disseminate disinformation, how they operate and what kind of disinformation they put out. A very good example of this is MI5 and MI6. 